ओके फ्रेंड्स लेट अस डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव एंड सिक्स ऑफ कोड नाइन ऑफ जेई एडवांस 2015 पेपर वन द क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द ऑर्बिटल ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन इन विच इट इज रिजाइडिंग नाउ वी हैव गिवन सम एनर्जी टू दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड इट गेट्स इजेक्टेड विद द कनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ टेन पॉइंट फोर ई Uh, so as we know that for hydrogen the energy uh, with the electron can be given as minus 13.6 divided by n square if it is residing in the nth orbital now we have given it the energy using electromagnetic radiation of wavelength 90 so the energy which is which is given to it is at c divided by lambda now this is the whole uh, this is the total energy with the electron and which get converted into the kinetic energy which is given to us as 10.14 10.4 okay so now this hc divided by lambda this is equal to 1242 divided by 90 and uh, if we cancel it it will come to 13.8 ev okay so i'm putting the value of hc divided by lambda as 13.8 we will have Minus thirteen point six n square is equal to ten point four minus thirteen point eight, which will be equal to minus three point four. And if I rearrange it to find the value of n, I will be getting n square as thirteen point six divided by three point four, and it will get cancelled out, and the result will be four. and taking square root on the both side we will have n is equal to 2 which will be our answer okay now moving to the next question uh we are given that uh, uh, we have fired a bullet with velocity v in upward direction from a planet and when it it reaches its maximum height its acceleration due to the planet gravity becomes 1 by 4 of the value uh, which was there on the surface of the planet okay if the escape velocity and the velocity with which we have fired the relation is given then we have to find the value of n okay so let's uh, uh, draw the figure so let's say this is our um, this is our planet and uh, it's not uh, so spherical in the figure actually so let's say it is uh, having radius r and uh, i have launched it with the initial velocity of v and it reaches a maximum height let's say up to maximum height of small h okay so now if i take that uh, uh, it's uh, we have to find uh, the value of n so uh, first uh, we can find the value of h using the uh, acceleration at the surface which is let's say that acceleration at the surface is a and uh, then the acceleration at the highest point uh, will be a by 4 okay so <clears throat> we know that acceleration will be equal to f by m at the surface and the force at the surface uh, divided by m can be calculated as gm divided by r square as the distance between the two bodies is will be equal to the radius which is equal to r okay now in second case we will have the acceleration as a by 4 and let's say the new force is f dash divided by m so now it will be gm divided by the new distance which will be actually r plus h so we will take r plus h square so uh, let's say this is our equation 1 and this is our equation 2 and uh, then we can uh, calculate the value of h using these two equations but let's say i do uh, 2 divided by 1 so i will be having 4 is equal to r plus h whole square divided by r square and from here i will have 2r is equal to r plus h uh, which will give us h is equal to r 
okay so now uh, let's take the energies into consideration uh, when i will fire the bullet from this place with the velocity v it will have the kinetic energy of half m v square okay and the potential energy at this point will be equal to minus g capital m multiplied by small m the capital m is the mass of the planet and small m is the mass of the bullet divided by the distance and the distance is r okay and finally when it will reach up to the uh, maximum height at that point its velocity will be zero so its kinetic energy will be zero it will have only potential energy and the potential energy will be equal to minus g m m divided by r plus h as we know that r h is equal to r so the distance will be equal to 2 r okay so now uh, i can uh, take uh, this term on the other side and my uh, equation will be half mv square is equal to g m m divided by 2 r let's say this is my equation number 3 okay so now uh, suppose i have fired this bullet with the escape velocity ve so it will have some initial kinetic energy and initial potential energy and when it will escape let's say it escapes with the velocity zero so it will have the final kinetic energy and potential energy both has zero so uh, its initial energy will be equal to half m v escape square minus g m m divided by r and it should be equal to zero okay so rearranging i will get half m now i have ve putting the value of ve from here which is given to us as v root n so it will be half m v square n equal to g m m divided by r so let's say this is my equation number 4 so now using equation 4 and equation 3 if i divide equation 4 by equation 3 i will have this half mv square will cancel out from the both side i will have n and then in on this side g m m divided by r will cancel out and i will be left only with the 2 so our value of n will be equal to 2 and that is answer to the problem